time for Dirt Daily, and I am back in the shop with Noob Sock. Noob Sock is back from the gear shop where they swapped the rear ring and pinion from 410 to 513, so it matches the front, which was causing me a little stress. I'm, I'm gonna admit, I was a little bit like, ah, because I wanted to leave to drive across America yesterday, and now I'm gonna leave tomorrow because I have I have to pack everything, I have to lock up the house, I have to do all the stuff that you gotta do when you go away on a trip. And so my plan is get up early, pre-dawn tomorrow, hit the road across America to the start of Ultimate Adventure, which will be some undisclosed place until it's announced, which I can't announce it because that's not my jam. But today my jam is this little thing. This is the final piece of the puzzle for Noob Sock. This is the keystone. Do you know what a keystone is? A keystone is a rock that's kind of shaped like a wedge. And when they would build an arch, they would put this keystone in at the top. And that would be the part that would hold it all together. And this little Z Automotive taser programmer that plugs in underneath the dash is the keystone to this Jeep. Because this thing will allow me to change gear ratios from whatever it was stock to 513. Change tire ratios from like 30 up to 37. It will also allow me to disconnect the front axle disconnect because it no longer has the front axle disconnect. When I put this Mopar 44 Advantech M220 axle under the front of this thing, it no longer has the disconnect on the passenger side. So if I don't delete that from the computer system, I'm gonna get a flashing dash that says uh, four wheel drive system has a problem. So that will delete that. It will allow me to adjust the tire pressure monitors so that they will recognize a different pressure than what they might be set out from the factory. I can turn off the rear camera, the backup camera, because I disconnected that. I was gonna install it on my tire carrier and it, the tire carrier hasn't shown up, still lost in transit somewhere. So for now, I'm just going to turn off the backup camera. It won't be on for this adventure. It'll go back on in the next time when I get the tire carrier and I get all that figured out. Um, it can also do a bunch of other funky things like make your lights flash and do all this funky business. Um, but what is cool is if you, like right now, this thing has just normal incandescent lights on the fenders. If I wanted to upgrade to the LED package or say I got some Rubicon flares that had LED turn signals or LED headlights, this allows me to adjust for that so that it doesn't get all super flashy, which happens sometimes if you don't have like the right flashing mechanism, this can fix that. Uh, what else can it do? It can do a lot of things. Um, you can change out your headlights and taillights from incandescent to LED. If you have like the factory halo ring, it can deal with that. It can make your fog lights come on with your high beams or without your high beams. Because most of the time fog lights and high beams don't run at the same time which is a little bit weird because you would think like, when I want high beam, I want all the light I can possibly handle. So you can make those two work together. There is basically a laundry list of things that it can do, and I'm gonna use it for a handful of things. Um, I'm gonna plug it in, I'm just gonna leave it plugged in. Some of these you can like plug in and download the information. Oh, here's the cool part. You plug this in up under the dash, and then you just adjust all these settings using the steering wheel buttons and the display monitor in the center of the dash. So you don't have to like go to your laptop to change things, but I, I will say before you do anything with this, you should plug it into your laptop and make sure it has the most current firmware, which is like the most current style. You want it to look good. So like this has to have the most current stuff in it. Um, so I already did that. It's got the famous new super whiz bang firmware. Um, now I'm gonna plug it in underneath the dash and I'm gonna sit there in the steering wheel and the instructions and I'm gonna go through all the different settings so that the transmission's happy because it knows it has 513s and everything and everything and everything else. So if you're looking to mess with your J late model JL or JT or JLU, 
you're probably, you are probably gonna want one of these. This is the Z Automotive Taser. You plug it in and adjust things and forget about it. All right, let's go inside the Jeep. The tricky part of the install is finding the exact right plugs and getting access to them. I removed the center panel here so I can see better. Basically, there are two plugs right above the OBD2 plug, and you need to undo those other two plugs and they will plug right into this. They say if the plugs don't go in, if they seem like they're too big, you have the wrong plugs. So I am going to basically crawl underneath the dash and try to make this thing work. We did it and the light turned on. I think that's a good sign. And then you just take this and you tuck it back up above the dash. You can put your kick panel back in and then you're going to want to grab your instructions. Once you have the taser installed, you're going to push the start button twice, but you're not going to have your foot on the brake, so it's not actually going to start. It's going to be in the run mode. Um, I'm going to close this door because it's otherwise, otherwise it's going to keep ringing. And then you're going to scroll through the little display on your dash until you get to audio. And once you get to audio, then you'll push the left arrow button and then you'll use the cancel button on the cruise control and that'll scroll you through all of the settings that the uh, taser offers. You can do things like check your check engine lights and uh, clear any codes that might be there. You can remove your tire pressure monitor. You can remove your auto start, your stop start. Uh, you can uh, change the gear ratios change the tire size, um, sh shut off the rear backup camera. You can make the fog lights come on with the, head, with the high beams. Basically, you can do a lot of settings. But then when you're done, there's something called the full reboot. Oh, and let me back up. Before you do anything, you have to marry the taser to the computer. And what, it, what that does is it basically downloads all the information from the engine or from the ECU into the taser so that later on, if you ever want to get rid of it, you can unmarry it and it will return it all to stock. Then you go through all those settings, you scroll through everything, you pick out all the, the changes that you want, and then you do a full reboot, and that's done twice. You actually uh, hit the full reboot button, it counts down to like from 145 down to zero, and then you, have, then you push the button to stop it all, open the door, close the door, let all the dash go dark, let it sit for a minute, open the door, close the door. You basically go through a lot of these steps, which are all right here in the instructions. Um, so now, if I start this, I shouldn't have any check engine lights. I shouldn't have a four wheel drive light because I got rid of the warning that it doesn't have a front axle disconnect. Um, the speedo should be right because now it knows I have 513s and it knows that I have larger tires. So. The Taser is a pretty neat little gadget. Um, it's not the most exciting dirt daily because it's both basically a bunch of button pushing, but once you realize how handy it is, uh, you're gonna wanna use one, especially if you have late model uh, JL or Gladiator. I know they also make them for like the Dodge Chargers and I think some Ford trucks and Ram trucks. So check them out, Z Automotive. They have a lot of different op options if you're making modifications to your vehicles. That's it for this Dirt Daily. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, Batman, you want to go inside? Come on. Come over here. Say hi to all the people on the, on the internet. Let's get out of here, Dad. All right.